Hey everyone, and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons. Today, I'm gonna to break down a little bit of reggae rhythm technique. We're gonna learn how to scrape through our chord progressions. And also how to add those really nice short or staccato upstrokes to give it more of an island feel. Let's get started. Okay, we have a close look at the neck. We're gonna start off learning the chord progression that we're gonna be applying these rhythm techniques to. It's a simple one, four, five in the key of G. So we'll start off with a G major triad. This is simply just like an F major chord shape, but in the third position, making it G major. So, my first finger is barring the third fret of the high E and B string, while my middle finger is here on the fourth fret of the G, and my third finger is up here on the fifth fret of the D, G major. The next chord shape that we have, we're taking that same exact shape and going up to the eighth fret position. This makes this a C major chord. So far we have G major. Oftentimes we'll slide up to the eighth fret position for the C major chord. Just practicing going back and forth. Between those two chord shapes is great practice as it's a very common change in reggae and also blues music. From there we're gonna go back to the one, G major, before heading to the five chord in the key of G, so that would be G, A, B, C, D, there it is. The fifth note of the G major scale is a D note, which means that the next chord, the five chord, will be a D major chord. Then we'll go to an open position four chord, C. So instead of uh, C major up here on the eighth fret position, we're gonna play it low at the end of the progression. So we have G major, C major, back to that G, to the D, to the C, back home to G. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate this reggae rhythm for you one more time, real slow, and then I'm gonna break it down for you. Okay, time to learn the actual technique now. We have the G major chord shape. I'm gonna teach you the whole uh, rhythm technique while fretting this chord. My thumb is on the D string, just waiting, because before I pluck it, I'm gonna drag my first finger up across these dead strings. I'm not pressing with my left hand yet, so all those strings are muted. Then I'm gonna pluck real short that D string, short twice, just by bouncing my third finger on that D string. And the more of a drag you can get on those strings, the more percussive it's gonna sound. That's followed by two upstrokes on the B and high E string with my first finger and my middle finger. Watch my left hand as I bounce up and down on those strings as well, staccatoing or shortening those tones. That's gonna be followed by another series of root notes. Uh, just like that. And then finally, another series of upstrokes, nice and short. Sometimes just one at the end. So that way you have time for another drag. Okay, for the beginners out there, you might want to start off just by practicing the bass notes and the upstrokes and getting rid of that dragon sound. Like this. Scrape. Thumb, thumb, upstroke, and then thumb, thumb, upstroke. Again, the longer you can do that stroke for, the more percussive, the more of a drag you're gonna have. And then it's gonna sound like that kind of percussive scrape is cascading throughout your chord progression. 
All right, everyone, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on reggae rhythm. I hope you enjoyed it. For the beginners out there that may be having a little bit of trouble, if you're in the Philadelphia area, I do have a beginner's guitar class starting September 21st in Center City. So if you're in the area, come visit us 12 noon at the Asian Arts Initiative. You can see all the details at phillyguitarclass.com. In the meantime, I got plenty more videos coming up, so keep checking back. Please subscribe. I'm Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia, saying happy picking.